One of the things we humans always strive to do is control our environment. From the very beginning, we realized that controlling our environment yields greater results. We learned to tame animals and we also developed agriculture because it benefited us in the long term. Taming our environment is however difficult because nature by itself is a harsh mistress and does not easily give in. And yet we still try and we more than often succeed. Our innate desires to tame our environment can be felt in popular culture. One of the more popular concepts in science fiction is terraforming, and this concept is also often heavily discussed within the scientific community. But this story isn't about space or other planets, it's about Earth. And one of the ways we have tamed our own planet outside domestication of animals and agriculture is controlling our waters. Water makes up 70% of the Earth's surface and of that 70%, 97% is held in our oceans, with the remaining held in glaciers, groundwater, the atmosphere and also the surface. By surface, we mean rivers and lakes. Surface waters are a measly 0.02%, but this amount is large enough to merit human control. And we control this mostly by constructing dams. Since the beginning of human civilization, building dams to control bodies of waters has gone hand in hand with a striving society. Controlling nearby rivers and lakes provided early civilizations a way to survive. With this control, they had enough water for their farmlands to drink, to wash and bathe, and importantly to engage in trade. The Egyptians used dams to control the Nile, the Mesopotamians used dams to control the Tigris and Euphrates rivers and the Indians with the Indus River and the Chinese with the Yangtze River. Today, there are over 800,000 dams worldwide. 75,000 of these dams can be found in the United States and they control 970,000 kilometers of rivers, which turns out to be around 17% of all rivers in the United States. Here is a map of all dams in the United States. And of these dams, the Hoover Dam would be the most popular. It was constructed during the Great Depression as a way to provide California and Nevada not only with water but also with electricity. Although the Hoover Dam is the most popular dam in the United States, the Oroville is the largest and tallest dam in the States. At 230 meters high, the Oroville Dam serves the same purpose as the Hoover Dam and was constructed between 1935 and 1968. Around the world, there are many large dams like this that provide electricity and also store water. The Akonsobo Dam in Ghana provides electricity not only to Ghana, but also to neighboring countries such as Togo. The Three Gouges Dam in China also provides electricity and is the largest hydroelectric dam in the world, capable of generating 22,500 megawatts of electric energy. Dams are clearly important to us. They allow us to control our waters and they at times even provide us with electricity. Not to mention most cities got their names because dams were built. Like Amsterdam, aptly named so because a dam was built on River Amstel. In a sense, we humans have terraformed the earth with dams in order for our civilizations to strive. This however doesn't come without severe consequences. There have been many dam disasters over the globe such as the Vaillant Dam Disaster of 1963 caused by a landslide and resulting in the deaths of 2,000 people. Dams also disrupt the natural flow of waters. Typically, the drainage of a continent is controlled by natural processes such as glaciers. Glaciers are able to redirect the flow of a particular river system and also change its path. Dams serve a similar purpose, except instead of changing the river's path, a dam impounds it. It stores the water and only allows a certain amount to be drained out. This means native fish species that rely on the river's flow are now instead trapped inside a reservoir, no longer able to flow along with the river. A salmon's life typically starts from a freshwater environment like a river, then to the oceans and then back to the river. With dams, salmons are unable to do this and in the United States, 
because of the several thousands of dams, millions of dollars are spent yearly just to get native salmon species to complete their run. Whether it's worth it or not is up to anyone's guess. But we know for sure that dams are important to us as humans. They have allowed us to shape our civilizations and we still use them now for many important purposes. With dams, we have been able to tame and control bodies of waters for our own benefit much like we have with animals and agriculture.